53 games last year in, in the playoffs against the Suns. But how did it feel to silence this crowd um, on opening night and steal one? Uh, it felt good. It felt good. I mean, you know, the team bash like, like they did last year in the playoffs. Um, that feeling doesn't go away. It stings until you get back on the court. So to come here in their, um, in their building and uh, get a win, feels good. Well, how does your approach change depending on what group you're in with? Because this team has asked you, I mean, asked a lot of you over the past couple of years, whether it's coming off the bench, whether it's being in that starting group. So tonight, when you're in with the starters versus when you're the guy in that second unit, what are, walk me through kind of what you're thinking and how you're playing. Um, well, of course, with the starting unit, um, just play through Nicole first and foremost. Um, then try to get Mike going and kind of play off everyone. You know, I know my opportunities will come. Uh, when he puts me in with the bench, um, the ball is going to be in my hands more. So it's just about making the right decision. I know I have to be more aggressive and get shots off and sometimes be aggressive to get open shots for my teammates. And I tried to balance that tonight. Uh, in the second half, Coach told me that he was going to play me more with the bench to try to get us uh, rolling, get us a little spark. So I knew I had to turn my aggressiveness up a little bit. Well, Milan used the phrase, we said we relish being overlooked. We relish kind of the narrative that everyone has put a cap on what we can do because without Jamal. Um, do you guys lean into that? Do you think about that? Do you, do you, you know, do you want to prove people wrong and surpass whatever expectations there are? Um, well, we, we know that, uh, you know, some people are doubting us because we, we're, we're down Jamal. Um, and he's a great player. So you can understand a little bit, but, um, with us, we know what kind of group we have. We know the talent we have. We know the resiliency that we have. And uh, as long as we believe, that's all that matters. We can't get caught up with outside noise. Um, we can't get caught in trying to prove others wrong. Just proving ourselves right, and we'll be fine. To hold them to 16 points in the fourth quarter, Coach Mullen told us that he drew 20 on the whiteboard and said, I want you guys to hold them under 20 points in this quarter. What did it take to get that done? Uh, hustle, communication. Um, we were flying around, um, even when they broke us down. Guys didn't give up on plays. Guys didn't quit. And I thought we just made it tough on them. Um, they missed some shots, but I thought our effort was there. And that's, and that's what we need to win games. Well, there was a stretch in the Western Conference not too long ago where everybody kind of knew that the Warriors were so dominant that it was tough to chip away at them. Do you feel like now, when, you know, last night, Lakers have a tough opener. There's so much parity for, for you guys as you look at things. Does it feel wide open? Does it feel like there's opportunity there? Well, it's tough to ask a guy like me that because even when the Warriors were that good, I felt like we could beat them. All right. So um, <laughs> I always feel like uh, we're right there with you the top. I mean, with yeah. the cream of crap. Yeah, I definitely know what you mean. But um, yeah, I feel like it's open. And I feel like, um, you know, we're, we're a team that can, um, that can win it. It's just one game right now. It's early. We got a long way to go, but we know our goals. We got to keep getting better every day. What do you think of AG's block? I told him that his energy tonight was big time. We need that from uh, I'm serious. I told him that during the game when he plays like that, flying around, being athletic, getting big rebounds, big blocks, just change the momentum because that would have been an easy layup. And I, I feel like that was a big energy shift in the game tonight. And then what did you see? Sorry, right. what do you see from Jeff Green? Off the bench. I know you guys are pretty close. Yeah, Uncle Jeff, man. Um, you know, he's just a constant pro, big time veteran. Been in a lot of big time games. And um, I like playing in that pick and roll with him because I know he's gonna pick and pop and he's gonna make <laughs> he's gonna make that three. And he's so versatile on defense also. So um it's always a plus having him out there. Well, were you impressed with Mike's uh, playmaking, ball handling? I think he had, he had a career high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told him that in the locker room. I told him that in the locker room. I, I told him, man, he was, he was out there dominant tonight, man. He looked good. It uh, just showed the growth and maturity in this game. And when he plays like that, we're a dangerous team because we all know he can score. And now when he's out there making the right play, it just it just is another dy dynamic and element to his game. And it'll make him even more dangerous. So. You know, I knew that would come with, you know, just maturing and growing. I mean, mm -hmm. I was young. I've only been in the league, what, three years? Mm -hmm. Really his second year playing a lot of minutes. So, I mean, Mike is going to be, he's going to be really good. You got any on the Zoom, Steven? Nope, not on here. All right, thank you, Will. Yep. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yep.